Your liver is an amazing organ. It is constantly regenerating. But every time your liver filters alcohol, some of those liver cells die. And the problem with that is when you keep drinking, particularly if you keep drinking at high levels, you get to the stage where your liver can't keep up. That can cause permanent liver damage. Now, if you stop drinking, you can help reduce damage to your liver and importantly, you can cut the progression to serious alcohol-related liver disease. So the first stage of damage is what's called alcoholic fatty liver. If you drink a lot, even just for a few days, you can get a buildup of fat in the liver. If you stop, the good news is that that is reversible. Cirrhosis, unfortunately, is not. If you drink too much alcohol, particularly over a long period, it's a major cause of cirrhosis of the liver. And that's what happens when scar tissue builds up on the liver, which stops it from working. Stopping drinking alcohol immediately can prevent further damage to the liver and may help to improve things. And of course, it's also important to remember that alcohol can cause liver cancer. When your liver's damaged, there aren't many symptoms until it gets to be pretty serious, but in the early stages, you may get tummy pain, diarrhea, feeling tired, feeling sick, throwing up. Later on, the symptoms are much more serious and they include bleeding in the gut, bruising easily, being tired, your skin going yellow, swelling of your ankles or your tummy, vomiting, bloodstained fluid, feeling really exhausted, losing your appetite. What's the solution? Stick to the low risk drinking guidelines. And if you're worried you're drinking too much and you're gonna to struggle to stick to those guidelines or stop completely, speak to your doctor.